why Liverpool, not Manchester United, will be the biggest challenge to Man City next season. Manchester United's clash with Liverpool on Saturday lunchtime feels even more significant than usual not just because it will go a long way to determining which side finishes second in the Premier League this season, but because it could also highlight which team will pose the greatest threat to champions elect Manchester City next season. Pep Guardiola's side may be running away with the title they start the weekend 16 points ahead of United, but next season is promising to be a far sterner test. Liverpool have improved rapidly as the season has progressed, particularly since the turn of the year, while Jose Mourinho is already laying the groundwork for another big summer splurge. But which side should City fear most and how do the two teams compare? Whisper it, but Liverpool appear to have solved their defensive problems and that isn't he just because they dumped 75 metres on Virgil van Dijk. Even prior to the Dutchman's arrival they were starting to concede fewer chances and fewer good quality chances more importantly. Jurgen Klopp shuffled his full-backs, changed his goalkeeper and stuck with a more settled backline. By contrast, United's defense has become very error-prone, very quickly. Marinho was livid with his team against Tottenham, bewildered by their naivety against Newcastle, and then apoplectic on the sidelines against Crystal Palace. You see, while United have only conceded 22 goals in the Premier League, their defense has actually become a major issue. Their expected goals, XG, conceded a metric that weights the difficulty of chances and the likelihood of them being scored ranks them fifth in the division, and statistically they should have conceded 12 more goals than they actually have. Liverpool, by contrast, have let in four more goals than their XG suggests they should have. The reason for that discrepancy is simple, David De Gea. The Spaniard, still wanted by Real Madrid, has been exceptional once again this season, and has bailed out a disheveled defense on numerous occasions. Still, there is little wonder why Marinho has so many doubts about his backline. His only trusted centre-back, Eric Bailey, has been sidelined for much of the season and both his full-backs are entering their twilight. Even if De Gea stays, more money is clearly required to get their defense up to Marinho's standard. Liverpool already have one of the most dynamic and aggressive midfields in the Premier League, and it could get even better next season. While the potential departure of Emmerkan, whose contract expires at the end of the season would be a blow, it has already been offset by the arrival of Nabi Keita. The Guinean is a unique and wonderfully gifted talent that should light up the Premier League. He is, ironically, exactly the sort of box-to-box press-breaking midfielder that United are crying out for if their new midfield three experiment is ever going to work. Rather unexpectedly, Paul Pogba who looked so assured and downright dominant at the start of the season has turned into the team's biggest problem. Pogba's tendency to roam even in a midfield two left United's backline exposed, while he has not been creative or commanding enough to justify the switch to a 4-3-3. Scott McTominay has been drafted in to offer balance on the red side of the central midfield trio, though is little more than a hard-working and functional player. Meanwhile, Liverpool's midfield is a slick, hard-pressing, fast-transitioning, athletic and well-oiled machine that will soon be supplemented by one of the Bundesliga's biggest talents. Whether United's midfield will match them next season is entirely dependent on the quality of the holding midfielder they signed Napoli as Georginho and Lazio star Sergei Milinkovic Savic have been linked and whether Marinho and Pogba's relationship can be repaired. Perhaps the biggest mismatch between Liverpool and United, right now, is up front. Klopp has often been criticized for his defense, which has leaked goals in the past, but the ferocity of his attacking approach has never been questioned. The Mercy sitters swarm all over teams and pepper opposition goals only Manchester City have scored more in the Premier League this season. Their front three of Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane has even eclipsed the old SAS attack that so very nearly won the title. It is a potent blend of pace, creativity, cleverness and, particularly in the form of Salah, clinicalness. The Egyptian has been unplayable this season, and co-leads the division as scoring charts with 24 goals. He has 32 in all competitions.